Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3. In this episode we're going to start off with the Prince of Persia launch, trying to get the Kerbals back from the Queen of Sheba. And I am so glad I picked those names now. Anyway, but if you recall with the previous attempt at the Prince of... P uh, okay, that's going to be tough to say. Previous attempt at the Prince of Persia launch, uh, we had a fuel flow issue on the first stage, so I've corrected the fuel lines, and I've also added a stack separator uh, between the docking port and the nose cone. A lot of people also mentioned that there is a way to get the Kerbals out of the rotating habitat. Uh, hopefully we won't have to even try that, but if we do, that's an option that I remember. So I'll keep that in mind. Otherwise, everything else about this is the same. It worked alright except for that first stage issue, so we'll go with it. And I have a lot to talk about, so let's get this out to the launch pad without any Kerbals. <clears throat> And then we'll be on our way. Okay, we will want the the target to be relatively close. Let's see, time up a little bit. There's a two degree relative inclination. Still gonna be nighttime here, but we'll take that. Okay. So here we go. Throttle up. SAS is on. Ignition. So it's been a little bit of time since I last posted a colonization episode and there are a few things, few reasons for that. First of all, I, I really was contemplating not using colonization life support, the USI life support. I, I'm contemplating going back to TAC life support which I am much more comfortable with. Um, this whole thing about the habitats and them getting all fussy about it uh, is a little bit irritating. Especially since the goal of this is colonization, and I expect them to stay there. Uh, they better figure out how to live there for an extended period of time. But the, the thing about them going into the vehicle and then the suddenly deciding that they're tourists was, was uh, definitely pushing my buttons there. So that's one thing. The other thing is the imminent release of 1.2, which means that a lot of stuff is going to have to be updated. And I actually don't want too many missions active if I'm going to try and update to 1.2. I would like to have as few missions out there as possible so that, um, so that the update to 1.2 will be as smooth as possible. I don't think there's going to be a huge problem, but it depends on each mod, so that can always be interesting. We're going pretty far out for this thing to be recovered. I think I should probably ditch it here so that it can be recovered properly. We should be fine for orbit. Except, uh, ignition just a little bit. And let's see about rendezvous. Well, we definitely need to be a little bit higher up. And I'd like my apoapsis to be right at that ascending node so that we can make our circularization and the inclination correction at the same time. Okay, there we go. 0.9 kilometers sounds good. Node me. Oh, we should ditch the nose cone now. Decouple. Okay, all good. We will have our docking port free, hopefully. I, well, it says status locked. I, I, I don't know. Maybe there's still something wrong with the docking port. I actually replaced the docking port. It's not the same docking port that we... I you know, I took the docking port off and put a new one on in the VAB. Just in case, you know. Okay, uh, well, not quite as good approach an approach as I was intending, but 1.2 kilometers is okay. Alright, let's go over there. We've got 448 meters per second left, and we should be within that as far as our difference with respect to the target is concerned. Now, if we have any sort of docking problem, uh, we will not be able to transfer the fuel, which would be a sad thing, but 
if there really is some sort of hatch on the rotating portion of the Queen of Sheba, we will at least be able to transfer the Kerbals. Okay, uh, interestingly our periapsis is low, so maybe I should actually ditch this tank. Let's see, orbit. Let's uh, burn retrograde a bit, ditch the tank, and then use uh, mop propellant to close with the Queen of Sheba launch. I hope I have enough though. Okay, uh, yeah, let's ditch this tank. Alright, RCS. Oh, we have the little uh, engines, don't we? Extend engines. Okay, um, let's target. Actually, about busting the negative relative velocity. Uh, we actually want to sidestep the tank a little bit and then go. Whoa! Target. Uh, we're using a lot of mob propellant. Well, the uh, stack separator and nose cone have been destroyed, but. I believe this is our main stage here with the five skippers so yep that's all good trying to click on the docking port not quite getting it right now by the way if you're wondering about the nose cone why I use that instead of the shielded docking port well that's because I haven't unlocked the shielded docking port I can't click on the docking port to select it It's right there. Should be able to click on it. This is worrisome. Did I damage the docking port by bumping into it in the last episode? Did I do that sort of thing? I can't set the docking port as my target. That strikes me as a bad omen. It's also not letting me say control from here on this docking port. Did Ben stock revamp mess up the docking ports? I mean... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, at the very least, I should be able to say control from here, right? Isn't that like with all docking ports, there's a control from here thing? Maybe there's a new version of... Well, it didn't pop up saying that there was a new version of Venstock revamp or anything. Hmm. Okay, we're not... Uh, we're obviously not oriented, right? Um, take caps lock off. Otherwise, I can't see where the thrusters are going. Yeah, somebody might have mentioned it, but let me deploy bumper. Let's say let let's say we have to deploy bumper. I don't know. We still can't select it or do control from here, so I doubt the bumper is going to help much, except for bump. Yeah, it's just gonna bump. So, something added a bumper, subtracted the whole being able to dock thing. If there was a comment about that, sorry, I, I must have forgotten about it. Um, yeah. So, this sort of sucks. Alright, let's see about them transferring into here and then somehow EVAing. Okay. Right, so now I can't click EVA here because the Kerbal doesn't show up. Now, is there a EVA port that I can't see here? Exit, emergency only, EVA. Uh-uh, other things have happened. Okay, guys who said that you could EVA from the habitation ring, that is not a safe procedure. 
That is not a safe procedure. Glitch has happened. Glitch has happened and taken out two soul panels on the Queen of Sheba. Okay, I need to... But... Maybe we can get the curls back down anyway. But, boy, did it mess up the Prince of Persia there. I mean, the Prince of Persia got tossed up. There was some, like, uh... Like some sort of bubble of doom or something. I don't know. You, you come up with a name for it. Sort of facing the direction of the hatch, right? Sort of? Not really. It's over there. With my luck, he'll probably fly off. That's probably what happened with the habitation ring, too. Maybe I have to retract the habitation ring, but can I even send a Kerbal in there? When the habitation ring is retracted? Maybe we'll see. Uh, no, no Kerbal, go that way, that way, up, up. grab, ah, no, it did the flingy thing. Are they fixed that in 1.2? Can, can the Kerbals grab again? Because they used to be able to grab just fine without the flingy thing. I know you can turn your Kerbal like this, but then once you start trying to maneuver the Kerbal, or press any key, it reorients the Kerbal. Okay. Except for down and up. You can do down and up, but once you do W, A, S, and D, it reorients the Kerbal. Okay, grab. <laughs> That, that was pretty darn lined up, and not very fast, and the Kerbal still couldn't grab on. And that's the normal pod, I mean that's, that's your normal mark whatever pod. Can you tell I'm getting irritated? <sighs> okay, that's point one. Grab. Okay, point one maybe is good, good for it. Lord. So now the question is, uh, do we do we try another Kerbal and risk damaging the... I mean, the Queen of Sheba is pretty damaged already. Where is it anyway? There it is. Okay, um, RCS off. Target. That's just sort of not... Uh, we, we won't have this get, go very close to it. But we do want to sort of close the distance to about, let's say, 100 meters and then park. Maybe that'll be safe. Okay, let's slow it down here. About 100 meters. Okay, and maybe straight up and down. I don't know. But does it matter that it's in this view and this view isn't quite right? Uh, I don't like that. Maybe that'll be easier. Who knows? All right. I don't know. Could you EVA here? No, that hatch is obstructed. Uh, we lost two solar panels on the last jiggle, so I'm going to retract the solar panels before trying this again. Seems prudent. Okay, so we are going to transfer... Oh, uh, let me retract this first. Okay. And I don't know if the, that hatch will still work or if there's going to be a jiggle, but let's... 
try it. Okay. Uh oh. Uh. I think I just lost Samrina. Uh, maybe she'll be back if I deploy this. Okay. Um, I regret to inform the audience. Uh, we may have lost a Kerbal. No crew on part. We may have lost a Kerbal. And now I can't transfer any Kerbal to that part either. So Telford is... Oh, sorry, not Telford. Telrod is trapped on here. Hold on, let me go back to the VAB and come back and see if Samrina pops up again. Or whether uh, that was just a horrible mistake on my part to try and transfer to Kerbal when it wasn't uh, expanded. I mean, I probably should have known better, but... But it let me. Ship Manifest let, let me do it, I mean... Wait, uh, let's check the astronaut complex to see about Samrina. There must be some... Indication of her whereabouts, right? No. Samrina is mis missing in action. Well, I I'm gonna call that uh, just a silly mistake on my part. And uh, uh, can we ship manifest? Ship manifest. Ship manifest has to concede that that was just uh, a silly thing. So we will respawn Samrina. She'll be available. That was just, that's just not acceptable. We'll call that a bug. Okay, that's expanded. Now can we transfer somebody to it though? Now ship manifest isn't even popping up. I click the ship manifest button and it's not even showing up. Okay, uh, Tedrod might have to stay here for the time being. Yeah. On the bright side, Ted Rod's got a lot of supplies. Oh, okay, 60, oh, 93 days of supplies, and he's comfortable for a year or more. Downside, uh, this is not what I wanted to have happen. Look, I guess maybe we can go back to the Space Center and then... Hold on, maybe I can say transfer crew. No. Can I, like... Click here, transfer crew, do it this way. What's SM base crew transfer anyway? Oh, 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 oh no. Uh, wait, uh, let's refocus. We were losing this. Well, we hear something. And Ted Rod's here, EVA. That made a, okay. Everything to do with this part is is glitchy. It's just glitchy. So don't try that at home. Really, don't. Well, the crew hatch is definitely no longer in a very accessible position. Um, let's see. Try to get to below 0.1 meters per second. Difference with the target. Okay, grab. Okay, so point one's the magic number here. All right. Well, um, still couldn't deliver the fuel, and Queen of Sheba is a bit banged up now. But we can we can deorbit and bring these two back, and we've already brought Samrina back. But we'll pretend that Samrina's on board here. Let's let's just pretend, okay? With the periapsis over there and us having quite a eccentric sort of orbit, I don't know if this is going to work right. Don't know exactly which periapsis I should be aiming for. This seems a little bit deep. We'll, we'll probably end up over here somewhere instead of closer to home. Let's, let's just be conservative by and make sure that they're going to be alright. 
Uh, let's point normal, a jettison this tank, which uh, I don't think we can bear down with us, even though we'd like to recover that fuel. Maybe we could, but let's keep it safe this time around. Okay. We will retract our engines for now. And on we go. Yeah, we're we're passing right by the KSC. You know, I put a little bit of a tilt to the thing for a show of it, really. Okay, going past the Eastern Peninsula, even minor ablation is occurring. Some mod propellant used to keep the pitch, but also it's probably mainly the reaction wheel control. Okay, it's doing a fine job of holding pitch. We are below 2,000 meters per second. Now below 30 kilometers in altitude. The fact that we're using up our mod propellant is also helpful. Because that lightens the load for the parachutes and uh, potentially using the, the engines to touch down. We accidentally used the liquid fuel from the tank that was supposed to be used to refuel the Queen of Sheba, and so we're carrying a surplus of liquid fuel here. Not to mention the supplies that it turns out we don't need so many. Okay, 1,100 meters per second, we're out of mod propellant below 20 kilometers. Still able to maintain the pitch, though we don't need to now. Let's go flat to our retro trajectory. I'm honestly not sure whether I should use the parachutes or the engines to touch down. Let's see, uh, normally it would be engines if we were touching down on the ground. We're definitely not touching down on the ground this time. But how much actual delta V do we have of these engines? Uh, 394. Well, Atmo 300 and... Well, it's 370 going down because uh, it's not quite as efficient on the ground. Hmm. Well, gear down since we have our gear. Oops. Oh, the landing gear. De oh, it says deploying, but it's not deploying. Shoot. Uh, oh, fudge. Slow us down, slow us down, slow us down. Okay. I got messed up because the landing gear says deploying, but it's not deploying. So, that's another bug. So, I've got two, two bugs, right, just right here. The stupid docking port, which is locked. And also, the landing struts that never deploy when I press G. And it's not because they're clipped here, they just never do deploy. It's, uh, it's a thing of theirs. Anyway, I can retract these now. Yeah, even in space, when they're clear of any obstructions, they don't deploy. Alright, our capsule is here, let's recover. Okay, well, 11,000 funds recovered. And more importantly, our true, two crew members are recovered. As uh, Now, because we didn't recover Samrina in this way, we lost her XP, unfortunately. I guess that's the penalty for using the ship manifest method in order to recover her. So that's the downside of that. It was not without its penalty. Well, let's test out the docking ports. Let me uh, come up with some simple system to try out the docking ports and we'll see whether they work on the ground or not. I'm suspecting not, in which case I need a fix for this thing. Or maybe I should just wait till 1.2. Maybe. We'll see. We do still have crew, uh, well it doesn't show life support status here, but we've still got a crew on the minimus station that we have to deal with. But we can't really deal with them unless I... The, the small docking ports seem to dock properly, right? Because we use that for a little lander. So, um, but we can't transfer crew, well, maybe we can transfer crew 
through these. It depends. Kerbals need to hold their breath and wiggle to slip through. So maybe we can transfer a crew just using these. But anyway, let's see the difference. Let me build something. Well, I, I tried to make a little vehicle like this with these wheel blocks, I think from Umbra Space Industries. But it's sort of skidding to one side and I can't figure out how to make it go. Let me see, maybe docking mode? Um, I mean, literally no button is... Nothing is making it go. And instead they're sort of... It's sort of... Okay, well, the uh, my W and S is definitely controlling it, telling it to spin the tires. But the tires appear to have no appreciable traction. And it's going really fast sideways. I don't understand this. Okay, I will pick different wheels. These wheels um, here. Uh, brakes, maybe? Brakes are not slowing it down, really. Hmm. Maybe I should put a... We should have put some retro engines on here or something. Let's see, any button that I press, slow this thing down. Yeah, maybe some RCS for retro or something would have been a good idea. Um, let's revert. This seems obviously glitchy. I was gonna bring two of them out. That's why I didn't start recording immediately when I brought it out because I was gonna bring two of them out and try and dock them together, but. That was clearly not working. Looking through the list, uh, are there no stock rover wheels? I mean, I, I haven't paid much attention to rovers, but I thought there were stock rover wheels. But scrolling through really, really slowly here, trying to find them. That's a caribou modular wheel for the caribou rover. That's another landing module wheel from USI. Then we've got the landing struts, the landing gear, a point light. But I don't have any stock rover wheel, do I? What the heck? Well, um,. Okay, well, let's, well, we've tried the caribou rubber wheels before at least, so hopefully they'll work. I'll take, I'll take it for now. I mean, it's all I have a choice. Very low to the ground, but if it works, it works. Let's try it. So this is the junior docking port, by the way. Okay, so I've got this second vehicle here. I'm going to switch this, switch this one, and try and get this over to the other one and dock. And this is just checking out the junior docking ports, which should work, unless something I updated messed with something. You know that can happen. Okay. Careful. Up, up, up. This is standard docking speed, right? Right. Well, we can go fa faster. Yep, uh, no problems there. Okay, so didn't have to uh, c control from here, didn't even have to target anything, they just, uh, they kissed. Okay, that is, that is wonderful. Let's recover vessel and we will try it with the larger docking ports, the normal size docking ports instead of the juniors. Okay, I'm just gonna park this one and here we have another one with the normal docking port up front and we're gonna unpark this. Uh, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that maybe I wasn't lined up well enough. So let's see. Oh, oh. 
I probably should use fine controls for this. Yeah, I think something has turned off any ability of these things to actually dock. So, I need solutions, folks. Uh, maybe there were on the previous video and I just missed it. Or, uh, or something. Let me recover these. Uh, park. Park. Recover. Uh, so, yeah, I think there's something wrong with my Clapatron docking ports. Not the juniors, just these, and we need to fix it. Uh, it's possible just upgrading to 1.2 fixes it, you know, uh, when 1.2 and all the mods come out for it, but that's down the road a bit. I, I expect to do a few episodes before upgrading to 1.2, so, and one of those episodes has to be docking with the Minma station, though in that case we're using the Clampatron Junior anyway, so maybe that won't be a problem. But yeah, that's the situation of things. I'm not going to do the... Let me just clean up some debris. I'm not going to do the Minma Station mission yet. We'll hold off on that for the next episode. Let us just clean up the place and check out Mission Control. So our active stuff is we still need to rescue Shellwell from the orbit of the moon. Actually, that's not too hard. Uh, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll do that next time too. We need to do this perform a science experiment on the station, but we've got no time limit on that. Um, yeah, we uh, the one thing that I really wanted to do was the Ike space station and explore Ike. So that's a pressing mission that I would like to proceed with. All right, so. Just a reminder of what we were trying to do. The reason why we didn't get to the Ike mission is because we had to bring these guys back so they wouldn't need supplies, right? Uh, that's just a setup, but uh, the the folks on the moon and the folks on Minma Station need supplies, and I decided to just bring them back so that they wouldn't be bothered while we were doing our Ike mission. So much for that. All right, well, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.